Atiku Abubakar won PDP's presidential primaries. Yes, this is not new. But do you know the twists and turns that led to his emergence? Don't worry, I'll keep you up to speed in a few minutes. It was a busy Saturday in the nation's capital, Abuja, particularly at the venue of the convention at Moshud Abiola Stadium. With songs and chants, PDP delegates from each state slowly arrived the venue. And of course, Abuja business owners took the opportunity to make some sales as they flocked around the venue, displaying their wares. Let's move away from the venue to other parts of Abuja. While touring the city, our reporters spotted the banners of different PDP presidential aspirants along the road. Over 9 kilometers away from the venue, we also found over 50 vehicles branded with Nisom Ezenwu Wiki for president, packed at Transcorp Hilton Hotel. The buses had standby drivers and were without plate numbers. It's assumed that they were used to convey the delegates. We went around some hotels in Abuja and they were fully booked. And here are some of their rates, possibly for the event. Back at the PDP convention venue, the stadium slowly becomes full as the event starts at 4.48 p.m. Delegates at this time had started queuing for accreditation while dignitaries arrived. First, we saw Senator Dino Milaye, then Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohamed, who is a presidential aspirant. Oh yes, a dancing senator was also spotted, Ademola Adeleke, who happens to be the party's governorship candidate in Ocean State. And then, River State's governor and presidential aspirant Nisong Wiki arrived the venue as delegates cheered at him. Next was the former vice president and presidential aspirant Atiku Abubaka, who greeted the delegates. Former Senate President and Presidential Aspirant Bukola Saraki also arrived and greeted the delegates. At 6.04 p.m., the convention officially kicked off with the recitation of the national anthem. Then it was time for the Presidential Aspirant to talk about their manifesto, that is, their intentions for Nigerians. So here are some. Atiko Abubakar begged frustrated delegates at the PDP primaries to forgive provocation and discrimination they felt. Governor Emmanuel Udom said he is the man Nigeria needs and as such should be voted for. Ayo Fayashi said he would defeat the current president Muhammad Buhari, who he said had nothing to offer Nigerians. Governor Bala Mohamed had delegates to have a deep sense of responsibility. Bukola Saraki said his mandate is to rescue Nigeria. Atariela Oliva said she has the ability to leave the country. While Aminu Tambua was giving his speech, he withdrew from the race and directed his supporters to vote for Atiku. These came as a huge surprise to many. And excited about Tambua's announcement, Dino Milai ran to him and lifted him up. In fact, Atiku and Tambua hugged as well. After the manifestos were read, delegates began to vote. Voting ended around 10 p.m. and counting began. With a recurring mention of Atiku's name during the vote count, his supporters started jubilating. Eventually, he was announced winner and he mounted the stage to deliver his acceptance speech. Wikim came second and Saraki emerged in the third position. With Atiko as the PDP presidential flag bearer, Nigerians can't wait to know APC's presidential candidate as their convention is slated for June 6. Till then, don't miss out on more prompt updates from Premium Times.